Just outside of Surrey, located in Bay Fortune, is Fire and Wider Creations. This sea glass jewelry studio is owned and operated by Terry Hall. Hall has a family history of cancer and, like a lot of women, is diligent about getting her yearly mammogram. In early 2011, Hall had just returned from a yoga conference in Toronto when she received a phone call that would forever change her life. And the next day I got a call, just one day later, and they said, we just want to remind you of your mammogram tomorrow. And I said, I already had it yesterday. And um, they said, no, they, you need to go back in. It was my, the nurse in my um, regular doctor's office. Um, and um, said, no, they, they picked up something, they want you to come back in. So that kind of, <gasps> you get that intake of breath and you just never expect it, I guess. You just don't expect it. Hall would have to have a lumpectomy. The staff at the QEH, particularly Dr. Fleming, went out of their way to make sure Hall was well informed. And he sat with me for about an hour and a half and a friend came in to explain everything to me. And the reason he did that was he said that if he would have seen me in his office, um, he's just so busy and so cramped, he could have given me, you know, I don't know, 10 minutes of his time um, and felt that he, he, I, he wanted to cover all of my options and to be he wanted to be comfortable that I was fully aware and informed of everything and what my options were. The surgery was a success, but unfortunately the results of the lumpectomy were not as positive. The lumpectomy went, went well, but the pathology report um, from the lumpectomy wasn't well. My superior margin, which they call, wasn't clear. So um, various other options then were discussed after that. But we chose the option to have a complete mastectomy of my right breast because other options, the second option would have left me with about 20% of my breast. And I just thought, mm, no. And so we went and I had a complete mastectomy in August of um, 2011. When it came time to inform her family of the results, the reality of her situation hit home for Hall. And then, when I was told that um, it was cancer and that we did have to continue on, I thought I better tell my children. And so I thought I'm going to be strong and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> Because they looked at me and they thought, oh, what happened? Did something happen to Nana? Did something happen to Papa? Did something happen, happen? They just never um, thought it was going to be something to me. And then right away, my daughter texted her father and said, you have to go home. Thanks to early detection, Hall didn't have to undergo chemotherapy or receive radiation treatment and is back working and teaching yoga again. She remains thankful to all those who helped her along the way and says she now sees the QEH and its staff in a much different light. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, when you go up to the hospital now, if you, you were visiting somebody and you see the cancer treatment center and you think, oh, you think, oh, yeah, okay, the cancer treatment center, and you think, and then you go into the main lobby of the hospital. And I'll never forget walking in the cancer treatment center for the first time. I thought, oh my God, <laughs> this is this for me? And um, so you do look at it differently. And thank God they were there. Um, you know, I didn't have to go off the island. I didn't have to go anywhere else but to Charlottetown, you know. And so, yeah, you see the hospital in a different light um, because it was there for you when you needed it. Um, and it was there very quick for me. There was no, no delays, even though sometimes one or two days could seem like a long delay for me. Um, but it was necessary, so.